Hello everybody, my name is Rolak and welcome back to Banjo-Tooie. In the last episode we got started on Hailfire Peaks in a uh, Coliseum Kickball Tournament. Got a few more Jiggies here and there, as well as a few Jinjos and Honeycomb pieces. And in today's episode, we are going to be heading up the mountain to take care of this pesky dragon that's been spewing fireballs at us all the time. Alright, with his help of actually blowing up the, um, the whatchamacallit, the building that was holding the flight pad hostage. I think, where is it exactly? It's like really high up, isn't it? Yeah, it's right here. Let's go ahead and just head on right in. We got the right egg equipped. All right. <clears throat> Chili Billy, hot and spicy dragon. Ah, at last, you must be the pizza delivery boy. No, just the local jiggy hunters. Lies, I bet you've got my 12 foot spicy meat special in that backpack. Afraid not, wart face. Then I'll eat you instead. All right, Chili Billy is pretty easy boss, honestly. You get these big cannons around here. Ugh, so cold. Uh, a few cannons here and there. What we got to do is just... No, okay. I'll soon have you licked. Really don't want that. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, there's cannons around the arena. Um, you want to shoot the ice eggs into it because it's obviously weak to ice. As well as dodge some fireballs. Oh, okay. And once you use it up three times, um, it will go away. In fact, I think he's using the same sound effect for spitting fireballs as uh, that dragonfly. What was it? Deg Degondo? In uh, Donkey Kong 64. I think it's the exact same sound effect that they're using. And there we... Oh, god damn it. I guess it's only two hits per cannon. Or two hits per cycle, I guess. But yeah, Chili Billy is a pretty easy boss, to be honest. And there we go. Nope, hang on. There we go. Enough. I've changed my mind. Forget the pizza, but I'm sure my brother will still want his. Hmm, I reckon I'll go get a couple of... Oh, God damn it! I, I think you said Big Al Burgers. I accidentally hit B. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's Chili Billy. That's part one of the boss. He'd say that his brother would still want some pizza. So, I think that's pretty much everything we can get done in the fire side for the time being. Actually, I think there's actually one more thing we can do over in the um, Coliseum area, to be specific. If I remember correctly, because I think there's actually a few more things for us to collect around here. In fact, there might be a jiggy. Ah, there's the train switch. Let's go ahead and activate this. All right, there we go. And that's the lava side opened up for us. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, now that we actually have the flight pad unlocked, we can actually get this little side thing done. Oh god, this is gonna be hurting a lot. Ow. Okay. Yeah, because there's the jiggy right there. So we got to do a little neat thing here and there with uh, some swapping and stuff. Because right, back in the Coliseum, we want to head up here. Because I'm pretty sure... Where were the swap pads? They are on the other side, weren't they? No, I think they were just a bit higher up. Where, where are the swap pads? There are swap pads in here, right? Yes, here they are. Can't even... Okay. There we go. Alright, we want to start out as Banjo first, and I'm pretty sure, I didn't see it before, but I'm pretty sure that there's a uh, ledge that we can grab up near the top of this chain. In fact, I think it's right up here, actually. Or not. Where? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I just barely see it. Whoa, okay. Gobgoyles are making it a bit more difficult to do stuff. Alright, so here we gotta do is some kind of like switch uh, tricks here and there. So Banjo will stand on this switch while that opens up over there for Kazooie. Uh, specifically, we need to get Kazooie back over to the uh, flight pad so she can actually get up there because there's no other way for her to get up there. Well, I mean, technically there is a way for her to get up there, but we don't really... Yeah, we could, but I don't really want to. It'll take longer anyway. 
I feel like if the shortcut just over here, we can just get back over to that side, no problem whatsoever. Actually, hang on a moment. Before we actually go on with that, what leads up here? Because I noticed that there's like a little cave entrance. Okay, forget that guy. Yeah, there's a little cave entrance up here. Where does this lead to exactly? Where the hell is this? Oh, oh, it just leads over to Mumbo. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Alright, let's get going. Where exactly do we need to go? It's the one just above the door. No, it's this one. Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and hop down there. Step on this. Now open this gate fully. So that Banjo doesn't have to stand on that switch anymore because another gate opens up for him just over there. So we'll go ahead and swap back over to him. I just kicked my computer. That wasn't a good idea. There we go. Climb up here. Step on this switch. This opens up this gate fully as well. And I think this might... Excuse me. This might open up the last one. Which will reveal... The Jiggy. Yes, it does. All right. Oh, which is easier to get with Kazooie. Oh, boy. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, please tell me that the Jiggy is still unlocked. <laughs> oh, no! I thought that would break the fall damage. It didn't! <laughs> Shit. Is this open? Oh, my God. We got to do the whole thing over again. <laughs> Fuck. No, wait, no, we just need to get Kazooie to do it because that was her switch. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Unbelievable. No, it was Banjo's switch. Oh, that sucks. Alright, there's a warp. There's, frankly, there's some swap pads over here, so we can just do that real quick. Oh my god. I didn't mean to do that at all. I just meant to I meant to do the double jump, but it didn't work properly. No, hit the grab the ledge, banjo, good lord. There we go. Good lord. <laughs> We're so close. I should have just gotten it with banjo. What am I doing? No, because banjo opened up the way, didn't he? Oh, do we have to do the whole thing over again? We have to do the whole thing over again. God damn it. All right, I'll just cut this out. I don't want to waste you guys' time anymore. <laughs> All right. Now then, with like five minutes wasted, we can actually get this Jiggy properly now. Um, an interesting thing I actually realized about Kazooie, uh, because she doesn't have the weight of Banjo weighing her down, she can just permanently slowly fall down. There's no limit as to how long she has to hold that down, so that's a useful trick there. Well, that's interesting. The Jiggy actually... Huh. The Jiggy followed over to Banjo when I swapped over. That was interesting. Alright. Now then, with enough time wasted on the fire side, I think we are pretty much done everything that we can get done on the fire side for the time being. So... Excuse me. Um... Uh... Well, first of all, where the hell is it? Uh, I think we'll just head back to the flight pad just to make it a bit easier for us. Actually, there are multiple ways to get over to the other side, so it shouldn't be that much of an issue. In fact... Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Oh, for God's sakes! Uh, he was, like, completely black there for a moment. Did you see that? Like, completely dark. That was bizarre. Alright. So, yes, um, this, is, this isn't all that Hailfire Peaks has to offer. It's obviously a much bigger world, considering it's the seventh world. And there is still quite a lot for us to explore. We just haven't gotten to the other side of it just yet. And I don't know where exactly where we need to go. <laughs> Let's ignore these hot hands or try to get past them at least. No, nope, that's not going to... Oh, for fuck's sake. We'll just fly over there, good lord. Since there doesn't seem to be just a straightforward path to the other side for some reason. Okay. Where can we go? Okay, now I'm curious. What's over here? What is over here? Is this just the upper side of the train station? It is. We don't need to do anything here. Yet. Say at least. 
Alright. How do you even get up here normally? Like, where does this lead to? Oh, okay. Scanners indicate location of kids. Evacuation found. Exterior door opening to enable manual viewing. Detecting Earthling cross wind. Be careful. Yikes. I calculate it's a long way down. Huh? What's going on? Keep ship steady. Activate jetpack. Ugh. Never mind. I'm okay. Wait a minute. No, I'm not. I'm dead. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Where even are we? Oh, we're way up here. Yeah, we couldn't get up here even if it was with Kazooie. Alright, um, so yeah. Uh, Hailfire Peaks has two sides to it. One fire, one icy. Hence the name Hailfire Peaks, which is a very cool name, I might add. Uh, these guys are Bigafoots. You might remember these guys as they were actually um, enemies in Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. Um, they're quite a hefty f bunch, but we are able to instantly kill them with fire, obviously, because they're cold buddies. And, oh! What cheek! Fancy trespassing on my glacier without my permission. Boy, are you going to suffer. So it's just like with the fire side, there's also a dragon on the icy side. And he's going to be shooting down some ice balls at us. Now then, there's a Jinjo here. However, there's an icy... There's a wind current blowing us back. So the only way to actually get this... But God, I'm really close to death. We need to shoot a clockwork. Get the fuck out of here. We need to shoot a clockwork Kazooie egg over here. Oh boy, we need to get that closer. Okay, asshole. Jesus Christ, I'm going to die. Okay, too far and you get stuck in the back. Ah! Why are we... Oh, my God. Okay, change the plan. We're going to take care of the fucking ice bastard so we can actually get some shit done in this area. Good Lord. We can't get that yet. All right, where the hell do we need to go? Okay, yeah, I remember. It's just over here somewhere. Alright. We'll worry about... Oh, actually, that's a warpad. I'll discover that real quick. We'll worry about collecting everything on the ground later, because we cannot really get anything done with that dragon getting in our way. It's one of these stupid assholes. There he is. Hello. I'm bigger foot. I have an enormous foot. That's nice. Yes, it is, isn't it? And if you try to steal my shoes, you'll be seeing it close up. Those shoes won't even fit you. I don't care. You're not having them. You gonna... There he is. Oh, my four, poor enormous foot. Where's the first aid kit? And there goes that big a foot. So, now we have access to the claw climber boots. And we can finally take care of this asshole who is spewing ice down at us. Oh, this guy's gonna get it. Wah, wah. Climb up this way, follow the ice path, and up here. Let's take us all the way up. There is no flight pad in the ice side as far as I'm aware, so we can't get up here for flying, but we are able to get through here via the claw climber boots. All right, let's get down to business. Chilly Willy, cold and icy dragon. You must be the pizza delivery boy that beat up my poor brother. He tried to eat us. I suppose you'll be wanting pizza too? Yes, please, I ordered an anchovy deluxe. Well, tough, we got none. I'm sure you have. Give me my pizza. <laughs> it's a really... We're not even really, like, antagonizing against these guys. They're just wanting pizza. Hey, it burns. Honestly, 
<laughs> I could relate. <laughs> Let me just have a little taste. Alright, so yeah, similar. It's pretty much the exact same fight as uh, Chili Billy. However, we're supposed to be using fire eggs this time. Um, the thing is that you... Uh, let's just wait until he stops. Um, the thing is with these fights, uh, depending on... You can actually fight um, either dragon first. It doesn't matter which order you fight them in, uh, but the second one will have a lot more health, or double the health as the previous one. Uh, the first one being 6, this one being 12. Usually Chili Willy is the one that you fight second. Well, I mean, usually for me, I guess. This time we'll actually be making use of all the cannons. Not just half of them. So again, pretty easy bosses. I think the second fight... Or, I think the second boss is a lot more trickier than the first one because it shoots a lot more closer and, you know, obviously it's more hits, but it's still pretty easy to fight. Stop it! I don't want pizza anymore! I'll go and get a takeout instead. Hold on, you frosty fool. We've beaten both of you now, so I reckon we should get a trophy. A trophy, eh? How about this? That is acceptable. I love their stubby little bodies. <laughs> now, which way is it to the fly through McJiggies? Alright, so now that both of the dragons are out of the way and not causing any trouble for us, we now have free roam throughout the entirety of Hailfire Peaks. Now we don't have to actually worry about getting interrupted or being bombarded with fire or ice. Okay, what can we do first is the question. Um, should probably go get that Jinjo that I was trying to get earlier. Oh, hey, Jam Jars is right here. Um, don't think we can actually... No, that's Kazooie. Kazooie needs to get a new move here. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, okay, never mind. <laughs> Thought I could trick it out. Yeah, fire instantly kills these guys. That makes sense. Let's see if I can aim this correctly. There we go. All right, just need three more of the purple Jinjos. All right, let's get to exploring this area now. Um, first things first, I think there's a cave. Where's that cave? I know there's a cave entrance somewhere. I just don't remember exactly where it is. I have not played this level in quite some time. So, excuse me if I'm going to be wandering around. It's 20 minutes already? Well, I mean, we could probably go on for a bit longer because we did die a few times here and there. I'm also not really keeping track of how long we've been going on for, so... Yeah, I should probably get, a, like, a separate timer. Just so I can, like, pause whenever I, like, actually pause. There's another Jiggy in there. Okay, that we can get later, but not now. Um, worry about that fella later. And some more notes for us. Can we not? Okay, that's weird. Weird that we can just destroy it with the ground pound, but whatever. Um, okay, zoom out the camera a bit so we can actually see this area. Oh, hey, there's... You'll be fine. <laughs> Later. Alright, well, here's Wumba's Wigwam. We should probably find the Globo so we can actually get to her when we need to. Where, where does this lead? Is it just a loop around? I think it is. Oh, nope, there's actually... Okay, we'll need to get that later. Um, where, There it is. I really wonder where that was. Also, uh, I forgot to mention this, but similarly in Banjo-Kazooie, if you talent trot as Kazooie, you don't have to worry about slipping around on the ice. Uh, because Kazooie has natural traction, I guess. I don't know why, it's just how it works. Probably because Kazooie, or the talent trot is meant to climb up slippery slopes. And because ice is, you know, slippery and stuff. Yeah. Hello. Hey, young man. I'm Mildred Ice Cube, but I seem to have misplaced my husband, George. There was this terrible blizzard, and he was whisked off into the sky. So? Is it obvious? I want you to go and look for him. Well... Yeah, you see... I, I kind of need that Jinjo, so... <laughs> Murder. <laughs> Murder is okay. 
Sometimes. <laughs> Depends. <laughs> All right, I have another mamba pad right here. Go ahead and break that open for later. All right, let's step inside this igloo. Boggy's igloo. How's it going, buddy? Hello, Boggy. Take a look at my new widescreen TV. It's got loads of features. I'm sure it has. It has, actually. 100 HZ scanning, Dolby... <laughs> I, 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 oh, my God. On... Oh, sorry, but it's got no online shopping, and I'm really hungry. Uh, what do you want? A big hot fish would be great. There you go. What, what was that? Well, the fish must have swallowed a jiggy. Well, if it's not edible, I don't want it. Fair enough, Boggy. I'll add to our collection. Be my guest. I got stuff to watch. It's the second time Boggy's coughed up a jiggy. Alright. Uh, so yeah, Mr... I think his name is Mr. Pants. Mr. Underpants, whatever. He's like the rare mascot for like the early days of rare... I don't know why. It's just weird. Thanks for all your help, Banjo. So yeah, Mrs. Moggy is here if you actually helped her out back in Witchy World, and the kids are actually hanging out down here. You got the sled from FreezyZ Peak, uh, and in fact, if you listen to the music, it's actually a, um, it's actually FreezyZ Peak's music. Speaking of which, you got the original Igloo back in the peak, as well as the snowman. So yeah, pretty nice homage to the first game, which is really nice. Anything else that's here that's a real secret? Not really. This is literally just a TV encased in ice. I don't know how that works, but I guess it does. Alright, that's another jiggy down for us. What can we do next? That's a good question, because I'm already forgetting what we can do. We have four jiggies now, right? I believe that's right. So, um... I want to say that we're going to end the episode here, but I'm not too sure as to how long we've been going on for exactly. And I don't want to spend four more episodes in this level, because that's not fun. We could just make these episodes a bit longer, which I'm probably going to be doing with this episode, because again, I don't know how long we've been going on for. Recording says 25 minutes, but most of those minutes were wasted with me missing shit here and there, so... Yeah, I'm not too sure how accurate that is. The global for Wumba is just over here, so let's go ahead and grab that for later. Can we break these open yet? No, we gotta wait. Alright, um, uh, so what can we do? Ow. Or burr, I should say. What can we do exactly? That's a good question. I still want to find that ice cave. I don't know where exactly it is, but I want to find it. Um... Let's see, Jam Jars was up there, so it's gonna be higher up somewhere. Oh, wait, no, I think I know where it is. It's probably near where that um, oil rig is. Probably up here, because I don't think. Have we, wait, where is this place? God. No, yeah, this, this is back to the oil rig. So we'll just go ahead and jump up here so we can actually. First of all, collect some notes. Do they just run if you're using fire? Wow, that's. Huh. I didn't realize that. It's pretty neat, actually. Break open these ice cubes. Here's the oil rig. Um, okay, what? Alright, yeah, we can't do anything with the oil rig just yet. I'm getting really sick and tired of just being not at full health. I'm, so, I'm really not liking how enemies don't always drop a, a honeycomb piece anymore. Like, it's not 100% guaranteed that it, will, that it will work. Anyway, we're in the ice cold Oh my god, I love these guys, isn't it? cries as well. Similar to the governor, just go, Aye! <laughs> Um, I think we gotta put a clockwork kazooie egg in here. I think this will lead to another Cheeto page. It's either the Cheeto page or the trouble cleft. Or another honeycomb piece. Cheeto page! Alright. Uh, anywhere else in this area in particular? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, let's head back down. Okay. I think these guys are called... Sh it, it, they're called shards, but I think it's Sahard. Sard. Because, um... 
it's an S apostrophe hard, so I'm not really too sure how you pronounce that. It's probably just shard. I don't really care, honestly, but... Alright, um, yeah, that's where the Cheeto page was. Thankfully, these guys take one hit, so it's not too much of a hassle to deal with them. Is there anything in this area particularly? Okay, that's good. I just don't want to... Because I think I remember missing some stuff here last time I played this level. Oh, yeah. Is that a lot? Oh, it's a Minjo. Of course it's a Minjo. Why would it be anything else? He's having a hard time getting over here. Why is he... There we go. I thought it would be the last Black Jinjo. I mean, I have a feeling it would be, but... All right. Jump up here. A few more eggs for us. Another shard. Oh, we don't even need to use fire. We just roll into it. Okay. I think that's our last warp pad for the level. God, there's a lot of these guys. Again, thankfully, they're very easy to destroy. There's the trouble cleft. So... What we gotta do here is blow open these icicles. Well, blow them off, to say the least. I, they just stick in the, in the ground, or in the air. It's really strange. Again, previously when I last played this game a while ago, I thought you just had to do some weird jumps or something with this area. I actually didn't see the icicles. Oh, hey, look at that. We got two in one. Nice. Should probably get Kazooie to do this because I think... Yeah, because this leads over to where Jam Jars is hanging out. We are going on for quite a while. I think once we get this new move from Jam Jars, we should end the episode off. Kazooie has two hit points left. Okay. Thought she would have one, but it's a good thing that it's just two. God. Um, yeah. Don't know where the other two... I don't know where the last ten notes are, so that's, um... Mild concern of mine. That leads back to... Oh, no, 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 no. Where does... Wait, hang on. Now, well, get the move first, and then we'll see where that leads to. So I don't remember where that leads to exactly. All right, Jams. Let's get some... Last move for us to learn here. Now you're lifting, no fat bear. <laughs> Easy will be to glide through the air. Jump up high and then hold left to right. Don't need fly pads or feathers red. Again, supposed to be Zed in the original game, but yeah. So yeah, Kazooie now has a means of flying on her own. It's not really a high flying situation. It's more or less you just slowly gliding downwards. You're able to maintain altitude pretty easily though, so it's a very very handy tool. In fact, that's how we get that Jinjo over there, I believe. It's also how we more easily get this treble clef right here. Oh god. <laughs> Go ahead and grab this. Oh, that's the last black Jinjo. Nice. So we'll go ahead and jump. Actually, no, we gotta get to a higher point. Because obviously what we gotta do is use the wing flap move, like so. There we go. And we just glide on over. We could also use the clockwork kazooie egg, but hey, whatever. The Black Ginger family is complete. And we got ourselves another Jiggy at 69. Nice. Alright, and with that, we're going to be ending the episode off today because we've been going on for quite a while. Even though we, you know, had some things here and there that were a bit of an issue. So far, we're doing pretty good in Hailfire Peaks. We already have halfway done with the Jiggies, so this is going fantastically well. In only just 50 minutes. Alright. So yeah, next time, I think we'll be able to finish it up, if I'm not mistaken. It might take a while, but we should be able to try and get it done. At least I'll try to get it done. Alright, see you guys next time.